Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random love reading, okay? This reading may or may not resonate with all of you, so just take what resonates and leave the rest, right? Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much everyone for your likes, subscribes. Thank you to everybody who's coming to watch these readings. Um, everybody who's new here, hi. Um, yeah, everybody, just thank you for all that you do, guys, and for being so good to me here. I truly, truly do appreciate all of your support. Thank you. All right, Divine, what do you have for the collective today? I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Let's see. Oh, boy. Honestly, I'm feeling an attitude off of this person, whoever this is. Um, I got to say, I'm feeling a little snotty, like, I really don't mean it kind of attitude off of this person right off the bat. Not that I'm seeing anything that really tells me that. It's just, that's what I'm feeling like here. Um this is somebody who's juggled you, okay, or didn't, they either were juggling you with somebody else, or they didn't really know what to do, okay, and here you are, um, beautiful energy, right, you're very strong, you're, you haven't, you've been acting out of integrity during this whole entire thing with this person, whoever this is, you could be dealing with a Pisces, you could be a Leo, take it how it resonates it's uh, you could be any sign at this point right um but yeah this person's coming towards you with an apology after juggling you after just this is somebody who can't get their balance right you know this is somebody who um really doesn't know what they're doing they've got two ships behind them here they're juggling two pentacles they're about ready to fall into this water. To me, this is like the fool card, but they don't really know what to do. Okay, so, um, yeah, and I feel like there's just this attitude. Yeah, look, there's just this attitude off of this person. Yeah, there's that attitude. It's very arrogant. It's very snotty, I have to say. And even they know there's a fish in this cup. They know it's like a kind of a crappy fake lame apology is really the feeling that i'm getting off of this person you know this is somebody who's who's still in their ego this is somebody who's um they could have a lot of other options around them they could even drink heavily um i just feel this nasty ego and the fact that it's like they're they want to apologize to you but they're on the defense, right? So they're going to defend their lifestyle. They're going to defend themselves because they don't want to let go of that ego. They don't, they, they want to keep being, um, they want to keep being, they want to keep that attitude. I don't know. It's just a nasty little attitude from this person. I can't quite describe it. Um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be clear to you as well, okay? And you know who this person is. Whoever it is you're thinking about that needs to come back around. It's like you already know what I'm talking about. You know who it is that I'm talking about. Um, and they may have a lot of other love options here. But, um, yeah, it's almost like now they're scrambling, though. Five of Cups energy, um... Yeah, if they're in the fives, they're having issues. The divine is, I feel like people are kind of leaving their, this person's life because of their nasty little attitude. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. They keep losing people, like people are walking away from them. The, the cups are top, top, toppled over. They lost a blessing in love here. That was you. Um, and they're kind of scrambling um, right now. Because all of these options here, they're all laying on the ground. At least most of them. I feel like the, their attitude, their ego, they, I feel like they this person at one point, well, I feel like they still do think that they're better. Think that uh, they're better than other people. And, you know, I mean, they're not going to allow 
anyone to really blame them for anything, okay? I'm, I Honestly, I get the sense that this person's kind of a goofball, and I feel like you're going to get that feeling too, <laughs> Collective. I hate to say it like that, but that's actually the nicest way I can put it. You know, this person's arrogant AF. And they do not want to take any blame for anything. It's like, you know, this apology is crap and they already know it. I, I, I have to say it, okay? I feel like you're going to know it too. You're going to be like, see ya. <laughs> this is you walking through that, that wheel, right? And that wheel, um, portal. Um, yeah, you're very well balanced. You're not in your emotions at all. Uh, yeah, you know that, um, yeah, this is a cycle that's closing out with this person. You know who this is. And this, this arrogant attitude, it's going to be abundantly clear when they start doing this crap. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I can do whatever I want kind of attitude, you know, that's not what they're going to say, but... The, the the apology that they give you is is going to be bogus. Yeah, I feel like they may even ask you, well, um, they may ask you, well, where are you going or what are your plans? Don't tell this person any of your plans, man. Nothing. Tell them nothing. Collective. Keep your moves hidden. They may know that you're making a house move or a location change for some of you, not all of you. They may want to know where, where you're going. Don't, don't give them any information about where it is that you're going in life, any of your plans, nothing. They may want to know about whatever kind of abundance you have, money. Don't tell them anything like that either. Keep everything hidden from this person. Um, yeah, see, there's that fool card. Yeah, because this person, I feel like they, they may make impulsive moves, okay? Um, but they're they're stepping right off of a cliff. And I do, I get the sense that this is their attitude. You know, the fool kind of does whatever they want. And they get a warning from this dog here, but they keep doing whatever they want. And the, it ends up being their demise, all right? And I feel like that's what you, you walking away is going to make them feel like a fool here. But I don't think that I don't think they're going to stop. They want this new beginning with you. They may even say some things that get you in your mind, right? Like, how can I get to this person? How can I get to them, right? I feel like this person has a way of, because of their arrogance and their, I don't give it, like, this is them not really, not really caring where they're going or what they're doing, right, to somebody else. It's, it ends up being their demise, I'm telling you. But, um, yeah, I feel like th this person may say some things or make you some kind of offer or something that's, that could even get you stuck in your mind about something here. But uh, I feel like you're going to be stepping out of this cycle, man. You're done with this person. They may say some things to you and then just kind of hang out and wait for you to come back around. This is somebody who plays games, is very arrogant, very egotistical. And the divine is like watching everything from this person. They're getting warnings. They're getting signs, messages, synchronicities that what they're doing um, is bad, poor behavior, you know, poor behavior. Yeah, I feel like they, they try to start fights with you here. You know, if you turn them down, they may, they may say some things that are dark, cold, harsh, just to start a fight with you. Yeah. And you're in Nine of Pentacles energy. You're just too busy for this crap. I feel like it's not going to get you down. I feel like that's what they want to do. You know, very cold, harsh, cutting with their communication at times. This is being strategic about what they say. I'm telling you. But it's not, it, it doesn't work. I feel like, um, I feel like you kind of ward this person off. You know what I'm saying? They come at you saying a lot because you're like no thank you and you won't tell them anything else about what you're doing 
they got to try to get all up in your head, you know, but I feel like the next day, you may be in your head at that night, but the next day that comes, you remember where it is you're going in life, and you continue to do your work. I feel like you guys are building something solid for yourself. You're out here being single, beautiful. I kind of feel like there's something about this that completely sets you free. You, you know that this person is going to come in and try to shake things up. Because they're just, that's what they do. And they're a fool about it. And they'll say things that are um, impulsive. Like they may, you know, I don't know. This is a lot of planned out thought. This person knows what they're saying. I feel like they know how to get under your skin. And they might for a night. They might for a night. But I feel like the next day, you're going to feel free from this. Okay. The next day, you're going to feel free from this person. And you're going to be happy again. You're going to be like, I'm free, right? Yeah, happy again. Look, ten of, ten of cups. Yeah, see, that's, that's this, right? That they're going to they're gonna be harsh. They want this happy life with you. They may want an easy life with you because they can have that. They can be happy, have it easy. I mean, you got ten pentacles here you're like sitting on some riches or you're about to be with the world card they know they can have it good for you you're have you've got a lot of uh wealth here or you will and if they don't get this new beginning with you they're gonna lash out they're gonna get angry they're gonna say something that's very cutting okay because they want this with you. They, this is what they want. And the fool goes after um, what it is that they want. They, they, they do foolish things. They step off, step off the cliff. I mean, you know, I feel like the scales are going to be balanced here, though. Okay, with justice. You could be a Libra, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Your person could be a Pisces, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, but they, uh, or you could be a Leo too, did I say that? Um, yeah, but this person, if they don't get what they want from you, and I feel like you'll handle it very graciously, like gracefully graciously you're not gonna cause any kind of ruckus or anything i feel like when this person um it's like it's almost like they insult you or something you know they say something here that's going to get in your head but you already have clarity you're already holding the the sword of truth and clarity here and you're just going to know there's going to be something about this person and you're going to be like uh-uh I think it, like I said, it'll bother you that night, but after that, you're going to, like, the next day, you're going to be free and happy and working, going back to working on whatever it is that you love. Yeah, there, here's, and this is the end of everything that I said. This person's coming after you, right? They're choosing you because they hold the world in the palm of their hands with you, okay? They know they can have an easy, beautiful life with you. This is what they want. Out of all of their other options, there's a lot of options here, they know that you're the best one collective. Woohoo! Right? Yeah, but you're going to be blocking this person out. You don't trust them. You're going to be using your intuition on them. I feel like this is it. This is it. This is the end of the cycle here, and I feel like you're going to be the one to, to end it. You may even end up blocking this person altogether because they are going to get really harsh with their communication here. Because they want this new beginning, they're going to lash out like a fool, say something impulsive, something that's, that may hurt, okay? But after that, it's going to be done. It's going to be done, and you're going to be free. You're going to be free, and you're free as the wind blows, right? 
you're going to be free. And look, on the bottom of this deck, the world card. I didn't even shuffle it yet. Um, yeah, and Earth Angel Energy. On to um, manifest something new for yourself. A new soulmate connection. New things, right? You're free after this collective. Yeah, what they say is going to sting. But they're saying it out of anger. This person's coming to you already know that their uh, apology is a bunch of BS. So, you know what? I feel like you're just going to you're going to hear what they say and you know, yeah, look, tower. Yep, and you're bringing this thing down. You're like, "Let it burn, baby." Yeah. You're this is this is it. It's done. And you're going to move forward with your life here. Yeah, using that intuition. What did I say? And they're going to they're going to be butt hurt over it. They're going to be pouty. They're going to be acting out acting I feel like they're acting out like a child who's not getting their way. And you're going to go on, like I said, to manifest new love, new stuff, a new soulmate connection. Yeah, use your intuition on this person. They're gonna, I feel like they're going to make it sound really beautiful and everything, but there's that, that twinge of ego. Um, I'm telling you, I felt it early on. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got for you for this message. Um, I hope this helps. I do. And thank you, everyone. Thank you to all of my subscribers for helping um, helping me and the Divine make this channel great. I got, I got to say thank you so much. Thank you so much to everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, until next time, Collective, take care of you and peace out.